Well, today I am at Barclay Middle School hanging out with a few of the students and they've been working on some really cool stuff that we can see behind us. So I'll get their names first. So what's your name? Emma. Yeah. Kate. Layla. And I'm Megan. Me, nice to meet you guys. Now, what have you guys actually been working on? Well, we have been doing a garden on the wall and it's a peace symbol. Yeah. And made out of reused bottles and everything. Yeah. It looks real cool. I love it. How, how do you feel it's turned out? I think it's turned out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So what did you guys actually, what were all the materials that you guys used for it? Um, well, we got reinforcing mesh is what the hair bottles are hanging on and um, we made hooks which will be able to change like the shape so we'll be able to change them around and we grew our like flowers in the bottles for re like reusable yeah. and um, so we've gone them in the hydroponics room for the last couple of months and so they're going really good. So Yeah, yeah, because what happens with them now? Like do you yeah. have to keep watering them and stuff yes, like that? Yes, we're watering them like every couple of days so that they yeah. keep nice and fresh and they grow healthier. So yeah. they're just starting to grow their flowers. So yeah. yeah. How big are you hoping the flowers to grow? I don't know, just a good size. Really. Yeah. <laughs> so that they like overflow yeah. so they look all bright and and then it's like a real thick yeah. sort of piece of away. So That'd now, be nice. Yeah, they're just starting to grow, so yeah. they'll hopefully look cool. <laughs> yeah, and we're lucky enough to be here on the first day that these guys have actually set that up. Now, so what was the whole reason behind, like, why did you guys make a peace garden? Um, well, we have a thing at school called Unit of Inquiry, and that goes on for a term, so we look at that. And last term we had conflict, but being girls, we didn't really like the sound of war <laughs> and stuff, so we kind of went to the opposite side which was peace yeah. and that's kind of how we created the symbol and then thought about a garden. Yeah. So was your teacher just sweet for you to go with a different idea? Um, yeah, well they were very supportive of our choice and um, Mrs Karat, she, she's been helping us during class time and we've been, um, Mrs Jomgul has also let us use her hydroponics room yeah. and Mr Mills has been helping us with the hooks and the bottles, it's the shape. Cool, so lots of help and it sounds super flash having a hydroponics room. You guys have like epic stuff here at Barclay School, I swear. Um, so with this, with this project, is that the only thing that you've done, making a peace garden or have you made other things with it as well? Um, the Peace Garden is kind of our own group idea that we've made. Yep. Our class have kind of gone on with the memory boards and that represents um, past time, past, present and future. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of our idea as the Peace Garden. Yeah, love that. And we're going to be learning a little bit about those memory boards very soon. But can you guys just tell me either like your favourite thing about the school or something funny that's happened? while you've been at the school for? <laughs> um, my favourite thing would definitely have to be drama because our drama teacher, Mr Moore, he always makes us laugh and awesome. has a few whoopsie daisies <laughs> during it too. What does he do? Uh, he likes to act out being an old person or a little kid <laughs> and that makes us all laugh. He's a bit crazy as well. <laughs> drama teachers are always like that though, eh? Like some of my drama teachers were just super weird. But it's good. <laughs> drama is so much fun. Well now we've learned all about the peace garden that this group has made, but let's go and find out about those memory boards in room one. It's actually room 18. Well, we're in room 18 now. That's right, not room one, like I said, but room 18, like Brittany correctly uh, corrected me, I guess you could say. And now I'm with Ashley, who has been working on her memory board. So how are you today, Ashley? Good. Good, <laughs> sweet. So um, what are these memory boards that you've been making? Um, they're pretty much just stuff about ourselves. Yeah. And we just take photos and anything really. So you can pretty much just use whatever you want? Yeah. Yeah because I see on like one of the boards behind you someone's put like handlebars on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. You'd have to have like some pretty strong super glue to stick it to that. So what have you actually put on your board? Um, I've done like crisp packets and stuff from when I went to England. Yeah. And because I'm half English so that I like that stuff yeah. because yeah. Part of your heritage and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Is there anything else on there? I can see like a cat on there, some photos. Yeah, just stuff that I collected from there or like yeah. I drew that because it's something I saw when I went there. Yeah, kind of. nice. And so um, when, when did you actually go over to England? When I was eight. Yeah. What was like your favourite part of the trip, do you reckon? 
when I went to the castles. Oh, cool. That would be amazing, eh? Yeah. Very cool. Our camera guy is from, from England as well, so he recognises a few of these things too. Um, and do you guys often do stuff like this in your class? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Just do general maths and writing and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So did you enjoy getting to be a little bit creative? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well, let's see who else we can chat to here in room 18 about their memory boards. Well, these guys have some epic as boards, so um, what, what's your name? Ian. Yeah, and your name? Rowan. Cool. So what have you got on your board, Ian? Uh, just a lot of stuff from my heritage, like um, African shield, currency, some lollies and a flag from yeah. Rhodesia, which isn't actually a country anymore. And um, uh, mine isn't finished yet, so we show, so we can show you the um, different stages of how we made it. I just generally put a, a lot of stuff around the corner, mm -hmm. maybe some newspaper articles and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to look real cool when it's finished, eh? So thanks again to Room 18 and for these boys for chatting to us today.